All right, coming up next is a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Anderson Silva. Former UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid 40s, DC, proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing, he loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry, not too bad. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken the sport. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set, an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the spider, still! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to go. All right, here we go in the UFC's middleweight division. Two names you recognize, Anderson Silva versus Israel Adesanya. You wonder how this matchup might have gone down. Both men were in their fighting primes. Silva still believes he can get his hand raised tonight. Anderson Silva is not going to be short on confidence because he understands the fighting style of Israel Adesanya because Adesanya has openly said that he has based it on Anderson. If he wants to look into a mirror, he will see the last style bender. If anybody knows how to fight it, it's Anderson Silva. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Unable to land the head kick there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. And they separate. Thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big punch lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. 
And that might have landed. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Oh, oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. An uppercut later. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, one got through, that kick was bluffed. Silva gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Right hand upstairs. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice liver shot lands. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Switches to Southpaw. Ooh, big shot land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Silva gets in the clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya and connecting with a 39% accuracy right here tonight against Anderson Silva. Leg kick. We go two minutes down here in the second round. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Big ball from Punch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. The kick is there to the body. And there comes the separation now. Just unable to quite find that range. Very nice leg kick there by Adesanya. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Silva. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stopping this guy. I mean, there's no stopping, there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet with Israel Adesanya. He's the last style bender. He's a character. He's he, he, he just has it, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. You don't know when that leg kicks. It's a nice back and forth action here. Well, 
place kick there by Silva. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh, straight right. How about those five minutes? Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to... Oh! oh you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed a oh, huge shot. Finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, single collar tie now. 71 total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silva. And this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Not there. Oh! What a fantastic... Oh! This is crazy! Adesanya's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got him. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Bond flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. All right, so he postures up. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Sneaky head kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Anderson the Spider Silva! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.